Hi everyone, welcome. It's Ryan here from the London Craftsman channel. How are you keeping? Today's video is all about hinges. So they've got lots of names, Euro hinges, concealed hinges, wardrobe hinges, kitchen hinges. I am going to be showing you today a close up on all three types. So these are the three main types that most people generally use without getting into more complicated style hinges. So these are the three main types. Um, and it allows for three different types of hanging your door. Okay, so we've got a full overlay. So that will allow your door to go on top of your frame. Then we've got half overlay. So that will allow two doors to fit on top of one division. And then we've got inset. So inset will allow your door to sit within the frame. We're going to be going over those in a minute. Today is all about showing you a close up of the hinge, just showing you the shots, what they look like and a few more details about these. So I have put other videos out on these three examples. I've got them back out of storage, never throw them away. Um, so if you want to see a more in-depth video, then feel free to have a look at that right at the top right now. I'll leave a link um, at the top of the video. And also how I fit hinges, a shortcut kind of method on how to fit a hinge onto a frame using a spacer. Um, again, video link is right up the top. So those two are quite handy to look at. So without further ado, let's get this video cracking. See you in a minute. Forget about the buckets, just there for precaution. So we have the most common type. This is a full overlay, okay? It's flat. It's got no kick on the top unlike the other two okay it's completely flat and if you go to any hardware shop then this is most likely what they are going to try and sell you you've got different types as well as in you can get these sprung unsprung soft close these are soft close so as they close it pulls the door too so they're kind of like sprung in a way sprung but not sprung but as they close the piston inside the hinge pulls it too and closes the door. And it's the same with the other two. The only difference between the three are the application for the hinge, how to hang the door into your frame. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one's got a smaller kick, okay? So not as much as the last one, it's about half as much, but this allows you to fit two doors on top of one division okay so if you've got a division and um, only one and both doors need to hang off left hand and the right hand then this is the hinge for you moving on we've got the inset hinge okay so it's got a massive bend kick whatever you want to call it dog's leg on it and it allows you to house your door within the frame okay so the actual door once it's closed sits within the frame that is hung on hence the reason it's got the kick on it allows that door to sit within that framework so all of these are soft close and all of these have click on click off as you can see the little gridded square at the back if you push that it will dis it will detach the plate from the hinge okay and that's how they come apart and then you can just line up these little hooks again and then just click them back into place. A bit awkward one-handed, but it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, they also come, well, the ones I use, they come with these Euro screws, I think they're called. Um, I like to use wood screws. That's my preferred method, but you can keep these. What I do is I get rid of these and use my own screws. But again, if you drill bigger holes for these, then absolutely fine. You'll find these kind of screws on like IKEA units and pre-made units that you get from Howden's, etc. Um, but like I said, I just like to use 20 mil wood screws with a point. You've got the option to pre-drill the holes first, or you can just drive those screws straight into your door or frame. Either way, you'll get a nice purchase. That is my preferred method anyway, is the wood screws. So they all come off and click off like so. And it just means that if you've got a door like this and you just want to remove it for some reason, take it off, paint it, whatever you want to do, you just press the button at the back on each hinge and that, that door will then pop off. So these hinges do look a little bit unfinished at the moment, okay, but you do have these little plates that go on after. 
So they just click on over just to make them look, look a little bit more presentable. And to cover the screws, the grub screws and the adjusting screws, that will click on like so, okay? And make it look a little bit more um, appealing and a bit more finished. Um, the hinges I'm using today are GTV and they all come in packets like this. And I buy mine in bulk, so I get them in boxes of 50 or 100. For sure, the most common type is the full overlay, this type. So 99% of the time, we use full overlay. So this is our most common type of hinge. If I spin this round, you can just see how it just sits over the frame. So this is the hinge side. If you have a look at the top, by the time you've hung it and you've closed the door, it should be flush with your frame. Taking into account that your frame is only 18 mil thick, okay? So this is what these hinges are designed to be for. They are designed to be hung off an 18 mil side. Let's see if we can spin this round and get to the back. There you go. We've got our 18 mil side there. By the way, Sean, do you want to say hello? Hello, bro. Anyway, that's how it sits. These are 110 degrees hinges, these are. So when they are open, they are not at a 90 degrees like so. They open a little bit more to 110 degrees. So yeah, this is the reason they are straight. It's so when the door is closed, we close that up. We close that up. It just allows that door to sit over that 18 mil thick frame side, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that is this hinge here, the full overlay. Let's move on to the half overlay. So the half overlay has a kick on it, a dog's leg. Again, not as big as the next one. What this does allow us to do is to hang two doors off of one division. Okay, so if I close one, you can see that the kick just brings that door in to the side, okay, by nine mil, allowing nine mil left on that division for the other nine mil overhang okay so that kick is effectively pushing that door over to the side so we haven't got an 18 mil overhang like this one this one is 18 mil overhang these two are both nine mil overhang and that is the reason for the bend in the hinge these are pretty handy and i use these every now and then not very often but they are good to have in the locker just to keep and if i spin this around you can see what it looks like from the back. Okay, two hung off, one division, like so. And um, very handy to have indeed. Again, not used as often. We close them up again. You can just see they just both sit on one frame. It's really handy. Again, these frames are only 18 mil. If the division gets any thicker or the sides get any thicker, then it will change the way your hinges work and most likely not work. Okay, so that is the half overlay. So let's move on to the last one. We have got full overlay. Full overlay with the biggest kick and it looks about like it's pushed out about 18 mil. So what that does is allow you to have that hinge completely within the frame. Okay, so it's pulling that door from 80 mil overhang to zero mil overhang to be in line with the inside of the frame, if that makes sense, it will pull that door over 18 mil. So the edge of the door is over 18 mil, which then allows us to house that hinge inside of a frame, okay? So if you want that inset look where you wanna see the framework and you like that look of a frame being seen and the door um, within, then the inset is what you want. Um, if we have a look round, we spin this around, you can just see how that fits, okay? So that bend in the hinge is allowing that door to sit in by that amount, okay? By 18 mil. And yeah, it's very, very handy to have. We use this quite often, and as you can see, we've got a little stopper here to stop that door going all the way in. All these hinges are 110 degrees. All are soft close, all are click on, click off and these are all GTVs. Um, yeah, so that's the brand I use. So basically that is everything about these hinges. If you do want to see how they are installed or how I install them, this is one method to do so. Have a look at that video that I showed you earlier. 
and we also have a video on um, how we install the cup into the door so if you want to see that too have a look at the link at the top um, if you have enjoyed the video and you found it helpful we have got a new patreon right now so if you just um, want to support the channel um, then feel free to become a member help the channel out obviously putting my videos out on youtube takes time and effort and um, it's all free so feel free to do so that would be greatly appreciated also we are at 42 thousand subscribers i think we're closer to 43 we're growing quite quickly so thank you everyone if you want to be a part of that again feel free to subscribe like share share the video and um, leave a comment other than that do you want to say bye sean bye ladies and gentlemen, bye, ladies and gentlemen as sean said <laughs> um thanks for watching again take it easy see you next sunday bye for now